It's time to road trip, get pumped for a gym session, or hit the morning commute. And you need the best audio quality ever to get in the right mode. So what sound system will deliver the perfect punch that you're looking for? Well, today we're setting up a test to find out. Welcome to Carvana Car Labs. So here's some auditory information that's just good to know. Sound is acoustic energy. Sound travels through substances in waves. The medium that we think of most often is air. Frequency, the number of waves passing through a given point over a given period of time. And we measure frequency in hertz. One hertz equals one wave per second. Volume, sound wave intensity, and it's measured in decibels. Let's be honest, having a crappy sound system is just downright unfun. We spend so much time in our cars, it just makes a lot of sense to have the best audio system ever. So we're gonna set up a test to try and quantify which of these sound systems is best and why. Now, there are obviously thousands of car stereos that have been engineered, developed, and created over time. So we wanted to fine tune the search and turn to the trusty old internet. And after searching through multiple top 10 websites, we aggregated cars that appeared multiple times create what we think are the actual 10 best cars. We then sat in each and rated them briefly to arrive at our personal top three. Okay, so here's what we came up with. The Lexus RX 350, the Volvo XC60, the Audi A3. So now that we have all three cars, we're gonna set up a test to see who gets the auditory gold. The first test will be measuring how much power the system can deliver. We're gonna test this by seeing if it can shatter glass or not. We will accomplish this by programming a specific frequency, 556 hertz, into a phone, and then playing the sound through Bluetooth at the maximum volume on both the phone and car stereo. The stereo will need to deliver over 105 decibels to make the glass break. Oh, there we are. Ha <laughs> ha! For our second test, it's all about that bass. We could just measure decibels and just tell you which one was the loudest. However, we're more interested in how all the speakers work together with the bass to deliver an array of different frequencies and volumes. To measure this, we're gonna stick a fish tank square in the middle of the car and film the patterns made in the water. We will play the same song at the same decibel level for each vehicle and record directly overhead to measure what we see in the fish tank. We're also gonna assume that the more variation of patterns equals more dynamic sound. I'm gonna put these bad boys on. For our first test, we're going straight to the pros. The people that audio matters most to. The people that actually make music. We will have a real band sit in each of our three cars and play back their own music to see which they prefer most. We will then have them fill out a scorecard, which are totally opinion-based. Okay, let's run these tests. This is the glass test. So we have our frequency 556 hertz. We're gonna crank it as high as we possibly can go. Uh, just as a reminder, we really need to get over 105 decibels for this to work. Well, let's see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna keep my eyes on this. I'm just gonna go for it straight up. Oh, that's a terrible sound. That is really loud. <laughs> Okay, so in conclusion, uh, we could not get the glass to break. It was incredibly loud in there. <laughs> Honestly, that makes me feel really good because the car has a lot of glass on it. I'm really happy to know that even at this perfect frequency that should in fact distort glass, it's just not loud enough to actually break the glass. So this is our fish tank test. We've chosen a track that has a lot of bass. It actually sounds really good. I'm gonna be wearing these because safety is the number one priority. And then also we're just gonna be tracking the volume on this instrument, the sound level meter. I'm gonna put these bad boys on.
Um, all right, well, uh, so these are real tests and um, we didn't really know what to expect before this. <laughs> but like, it kind of didn't do anything. I will tell you this though, now he's got great bass. Just not great for looking for waves in a fish tank. <laughs> Okay, so we have our band, and I noticed you guys don't have a percussionist, like a drummer. Yeah, we're actually no. looking for one. Well, you guys are in luck. <laughs> I actually know how to play, but for today's experiment, I won't be playing the drums. Here's what we're gonna be doing. Up on the board here, we have three metrics. Clarity, volume without distortion, crispness, fun, and most natural. We're going to rate the stereo system of this car based off of those metrics. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Sweet. All right, well, let's go ahead and get in the car. Cool. I heard you have a five-star rating. What are we playing? We're 70s wallpaper, and this is our song, Emergency. This is volume right here. And, uh, are all the windows up? Yeah. yeah. All right, so go ahead and tally it up here, and then let's get our metrics up on the board. Yes, sir. All right, well, here we go. Here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, well, this one works already. This is really nice, yeah. yeah. Already. It's time to know That's studio quality right there. It's really good. It's just me. It's really good. I'm addicted to anxiety. Clarity, volume without distortion, which we'll do next. Crispness, fun, most natural. Just keeping that in mind. Yeah. Sorry, I'm blue. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna do the volume test. Here we go, distortion test. Okay, so we finally have all of our data. Now what we did is we tallied up your guys' scores. For clarity, the Lexus is taking the lead, okay? For volume without distortion, we had a tie between the Audi and the Volvo. For crispness, Lexus is definitely taking the cake on that one. For fun, same thing, the Lexus. Most natural, kind of a tie between the Audi and the Volvo, but Lexus certainly took the lead here. Do you guys agree, like, holistically between all this, would you say like you felt like the Lexus was the leader or like, what's your thought on that? Um, Lexus, far and away the best, as the data says. It did distort the most to my ears. Okay. Um, but I think the Audi was a little more fun than the Volvo. Oh, okay. I would give the Audi second place if it was just on me. And would you agree with the findings? Yeah, I would agree with it. I mean, I think the Volvo and the Audi are both like really similar. Okay. Um, but yeah, Lexus for sure. Awesome. Yeah. So the official ranking based on the data is the Audi came in third, the Volvo was second, and the Lexus is taking the cake for the coolest, best, most awesome auditory system.